Welcome back, folks, to season two of E-Man Toys. Uh, been out of the game for a minute. Just been collecting, buying toys, going through a lot. But we're back. Uh, I'm pretty stoked. I got a whole new slew of toys, new and old, to uh, share with you. Um, we're doing something I like to call Mission Fleet Monday. These are hot, new, off the shelf. Um, I picked this up at Walgreens. Not familiar with this line. Um, it just kind of caught my eye. It wasn't even there. I was kind of looking around for some other stuff. and uh, So I decided to pick it up. Uh, these are minifigs. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, uh, I hope you're ready for a whole new season here. So let's dig in. Boba Fett. Uh, these are brand new. Like I said, I don't know anything about this line. It's not, I don't think it's an animated series. Um, it's a minifig. I think they're one and a half inches or something like that. Not really into minifigs. I have a few Lego figs, uh, some, a couple minifigs. Um, I was a kid who collected masks and played with masks. So I had, those are just pretty much the only minifigs I ever played with or really thought were cool. Um, they were very detailed or, you know, five points of articulate. Actually, they had six points. They had, they had a uh, hinge knees anyway. Um, so I'm not really big on minifigs, but um, I felt, what the heck, you know, I just kind of glanced at it. And I said, oh, these are kind of cool. But then I took a closer look at the fig and I was like, wow, I got to get this. So let's first take a look at the packaging. Um, you get a shot of Boba Fett. Kind of an animated shot. Uh, these all have sort of a caption or a um, sort of a series name. This one is called Capture in the Clouds. Like I said, you get a cool shot of Boba Fett. And it looks like uh, Bespin, Cloud City maybe, I don't know. And then on the back, you get a little shot of Boba Fett, some specs on what it comes with, his accessories. Sorry about the glare. Uh, and then you get a shot of uh, the other figures in the in in the line. So let's take a look. Here he is. Oops. So, like I said, I was not gonna get this guy. I just thought they were sort of just you know regular old mini kit figs for kids but upon closer look these guys hasbro just nailed it um look at the back Let's give a rundown on articulation. So, like I said, they went all out. He has ball joint head. He's got a ball joint head. He has a hinged ball shoulder, which can get just all kinds of cool poses just everywhere. He's got a swivel wrist. swivel legs no swivel torso no removable helmet articulation great um detail great 
what's really cool about these is they have just a hint of that that kitty vibe you know that for like toddlers or whatever but for the most part they're downscaled three and three quarter um i don't know how well you can see this let's go through his accessories he does come with his blaster Very nice detail. Removable jetpack. Very nice detail. They got the blanket on there. The accuracy is fairly accurate. He does come with one other accessory. It's sort of in a, I guess, inspired by his ship, Slave One. The jetpack that he comes with, sort of like a uh, jetpack that kind of straps on his back. Nice. These rotate. Believe you can. So I guess you can snap on his rifle. Whoa. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties there. So I guess you can strap on his rifle. Uh, here. Give him sort of a... Whoops. There we go. Nice. Like I said, I just I had to have him. Hasbro came out with another minifig line for Guardians of the Galaxy. I do have that one. Maybe I'll do some reviews on those. Those were fairly decent, but these ones are even just better. They have more articulation. Sorry about that. More technical difficulties there. So, yeah. Let me give you a preview of what's to come on Mission Series Monday. Found this guy at Walmart. Or Wally World, if you like. Mandalorian Trooper. I actually thought it was Django Fett. Well, you know what? Eh, we'll go ahead and do this one now. Like I said, I thought this was actually Django Fett, but it's a Mandalorian Trooper. He's from... A, this one is called a Mayhem on Mandalore. This one actually has different figs. It looks like, well, I actually saw these at Walmart. They had Darth Maul, which I didn't get because I could... I'll show you what other goodies I got instead. Uh, and the droid. Battle droid. So, once again, you get picks. 
shots of the figure on the back with his accessories and specs. This one, you get a shot of, looks like Mandalore. Rad! This one is not bad. Nice packaging. I always feel that packaging's understated, especially when it has artwork on it. I love the package artwork. You get the Mission Fleet logo down there. Alright, I was going to do this, like I said, with the other stuff I scored, but we'll go ahead and do this figure here. Here's what you get in the package. I've been trying to uh, keep the joy of actually opening figs private because sometimes it's just not the same when you're doing it for other people in front of a camera. You know, um, but here we go. You're doing it with me. Big, sweet, his jetpack accessory. Looks like he comes with double blasters. Django Fett style. And he's got a little shield. see that on there all right and here's the fig nice this jetpack is removable and of course like I said you can strap on his ship inspired design jetpack which I they're all right I guess you can uh, I don't really fancy these do come with trigger fingers which is always rad like i said that's what i mean a trigger finger on a mini fig come on Sorry, I'm just having some fun here, getting him, trying to get him into some. Oh, let's see how that looks. There we go. Sweet, right? All right, let's ditch this. That's what I'm talking about. He's got the same points of articulation. Ball hand shoulder. Ball hinge head. Standard swivel leg. Nice. see how this looks I just want you to see what kind of like sweet shots you can get them in let's see I mean with that with that ball joint head you can just get them in some dead eye shots like let's see
Bam. Sick. What? I'm just playing with him as, a, as you are. These guys are sweet. I love them. Totally satisfied with them. Look at the detail if you can on the jetpack. And here he is next to Boba. Nice. Like I said, they do have just a hint or tinge of that toddler appeal but for the most part they're just a downscale three and three quarter all right we're almost wrapped up here on mission series monday let me take give you a look at uh what else i got in store for next monday i'm hooked on these guys yeah So, like I said, I scored these at Walmart, a.k.a. Wally World. Boom. Uh, the Mandalorian. Blur. Remnant Stormtrooper set. Sick. Shazam. Obi Wan's jet star, jet starfighter. What? They had one of each of these, and I just had. To, I just. I. I said, screw it. I'm gonna get them. It's Christmas time. So the figs are like around eight, nine bucks. It ain't bad. The vehicles and sets are twenty. Not bad. This is the one I'm really stoked on. Can't wait to open it. Next Monday, we'll do it up. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the a series uh, two slash season two premiere. Mission Series Monday. We out, baby.